So, you guys are probably thinking, dude, it's crazy. The Pixel 3 just got released a couple months ago, like three months ago. Why are you making a Pixel 4 leaks video? That's because I might do a catch up on it later, like a 2.0, but there are enough leaks already where I can post a semi-accurate video on the Pixel 4. So let's go check that out now. So I got some of these leaks from a guy named Matthew Montez, Montez, Mon however you say it. I will link him down below. He probably does not need the shout out though because, well, let's face it, almost every channel is bigger than ours, but I'm still going to put him down there. Anyways, here we go with the leaks. So the first leak is something that's probably pretty obvious. A full screen or semi full screen display. Now. The Pixel in the past has been doing this display where they put their front-facing speakers on each side, and now they've thinned that down to where they only have one front-facing speaker and then a notch and then a speaker in the notch. But what I would like to see is just one front-facing speaker and put down as minimally as possible so there's barely any space between that and the bottom bezel, and then nothing up top. No speaker, just screen. That would be pretty cool, and Google can pretty much do this with confidence, I would say, because they've already had the notch, and the notch is basically as close as you can get to full screen. All they have to do is do what the S Note, ah, Galaxy Note 9 did to their phones. They have shrunk the bezel to where there's barely a bezel at all, and then you get an almost full screen display. Now, I don't want Pixel to take out their front spacing speakers because they are awesome. I don't own a Pixel, but I've gone to Best Buy enough to where I can tell you. The Pixel 3 speakers are amazing. Also, the Pixel 3 benefits from something that other phones do not do. Like I said, the front-facing speakers. Now, phones do have front-facing front spa speakers on the front of their notches or bars if you still have older phones. They do that there. That's where the speakers are. And then there are speakers on the bottom of the phone as well. The Pixel, because they have front-front facing speakers, they can blast the sound right at you. So if you're watching a video like this, the sound won't be going on the table, it'll be going right at you. So that's the first leak, on to the next. Another leak I could say with almost full promise is a better camera. And now what I mean by better camera is Pixel might do a two dual lens camera. Like the, ugh iPhone 7, possibly like the iPhone X, like that. Like those cameras, the two cameras. Why I think Pixel can do this is because most of the time, there isn't much to set apart the Pixels and the Pixel XL. Last year, Pixel 2, Pixel 2 XL, there was a bigger screen, but that's with every XL phone. This year, I've noticed most people are gravitating towards the regular Pixel 3 because there's really no difference. I think if Google did a two lens, a dual lens, the Pixel 3 XL, the Pixel 4 XL, sorry, not the 3 XL, Pixel 4 XL will get more buyers and more support. Now, that's not a bad thing that the Pixel 3 XL didn't get much support, but I think they want to give those XL users something special for the extra money they're spending. Also, dual lens means better camera, and when I say better camera, I mean better camera in both phones. Google has time to always prepare and upgrade what they have each year. I think this year, or yeah, this year, because 2019, this year, I think they'll be able to upgrade their camera even more. So even if they only have one lens on the Pixel 4, it could be an amazing lens. It possibly could be better than the next Note that'll come out. Now the dual lens, I don't even want to imagine what that'll look like. That'll be crazy. Here is one of the last le leaks that'll be that I will show you. Now, the last leak is more of a software leak. It is dark mode for all around Android. Now, since Google Pixel is the first to get all these updates, it'll obviously involve the Pixel in some way because they'll be the first to get it. But what I mean by a dark mode is the easiest way to describe this is when you're on YouTube and you're watching YouTube, you know how they have a dark mode where the screen turns gray and it's like a gray background? That's basically what a dark mode is. And it's a great way to save battery. Now, this software update could be coming soon because the Pixel 3 and the Pixel 3 XL don't have the best battery life with heavy users only getting about a day. So a dark mode would definitely improve battery life and a lot of people will be appreciative of it. So that's all for today, guys. That's all for the Pixel leaks. See you next time. Peace! Oh, yeah.